Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back and in today's video as you guys saw in the intro We're gonna talk about and also I'm gonna show you guys how to get your shoes to float for photography Now this is one cheap way of doing it, but I'm sure there's many other ways now The reason why I'm making this video is because obviously the floating laces the floating shoes. It looks pretty badass Okay, so now here's a picture of the shoe just floating Now here's a picture Photoshop that that's in case you guys want to make something bigger than what it is and that's just something that you guys can do. But again, if you guys do want to go further into that, then just leave a comment below and I can definitely provide a tutorial for it. All right, so now let's get into the details on how I went about getting these laces to float, move around or whatever. And same thing for the shoe itself. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need is a C-stand, light stand or whatever. The second thing is a fishing line and a hook. And that I went to Walmart to buy. It will be at most $5. You're going to need those two things for sure so you can make the shoe float and obviously have the laces however you want to go about that. One key thing that I want to tell you guys is don't worry about all these fishing line hooks or anything that's showing within the image. You're able to take it off. If I want to give you guys a big tip here is make sure you guys do content aware fail. I think that's how you say it. And uh, for the most part, it does the job. You don't have to worry about all these lines being all over the place. That's gonna get Photoshopped out. So just know that it's pretty quick. It took me about a minute to eliminate them all. So for product photos in general, just make sure that you guys definitely wanna shoot at, at a high aperture. For me at least, Aperture A was the best. It gave me a sharp detail photo and that's really crucial when you're taking product photos. So I know I'm not a professional when it comes to product photography, but I tried and at the end of the day, that's all that matters, right? So hopefully this video did help you guys. Honestly, product photography is really fun. For one, you're able to just listen to music, relax, and just mess with lighting. Lighting is always fun and it's challenging. You guys don't need to get the same exact photo that I got. There's many ways of making shoes flow. This is just one of my ways. It's pretty cheap, as I mentioned. You're not gonna spend a lot of money. So that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully this video helped you guys. I know it's quick, it's simple, straight to the point, but overall, I mean, making floating shoes, the laces and all that, I think it's pretty cool. You guys can flip it around, do what you guys want. You guys can use two shoes. Get creative with it and just challenge yourselves. And at the end of the day, just remember, have fun. This is what photography and filmmaking should be. So hopefully this video helped you guys. And again, if you guys do any photography like that, then uh, tag me so I can check it out, um, especially on Instagram, which is at Mario Visions. If you guys like this video, give it a like. Comment if you guys have any questions or if you guys want the tutorial on how I went about the final image, which is this one right here. Subscribe to this channel if you guys are new here, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, yeah, that's it for now. Peace.